Hello guys, we are back again. Hello. Yes. Uh, <laughs> can you introduce yourself, please? Uche Lo Evento. Yeah. So guys, today I don't know if you watched the video before this one where I talked about meeting your spouse, your husband, side chick. But to, right now and in this video, we are going to elaborate more on that. So mm -hmm. Uche. I can't let How will you feel? Will you love to meet your husband's no. spouse? No. no. Why? Um, I feel the way I feel about it is, is um, <laughs> she's irrelevant. I, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I love that. Yeah, she's irrelevant. I don't want to meet her. I have no business with her. I have business with him. Yes. So. The man is who sh we should be talking about. Neither will I like to meet her. Yeah, she should why? be worried about me. <laughs> why, 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 why would I want to meet somebody, yes, what? a side chick, uh -huh. that is trying to ruin my home, mm -hmm. that is trying to disrupt my hard work? Yes. But you know the funny thing? Those side chicks, they know the madams. Yep. They know us. They go and They know search. the women of the house. They mm -hmm. go and search. And they dig and dig and they dig out. Mm -hmm. So apparently, most of this, if you're on social media, and if your spouse has a side chick, she knows you. Yeah, trust me. She knows you 200%. They would find you. They will find you. They want to see really? what you look like. Yep. They want to even find your children. They want to go and dig out to see your children, what they look like. Mm -hmm. If your husband has money and takes care of you. Yeah. Because you know the funny thing? Being a Nigerian, I think my husband has tell me something. He says, being an Igbo man, he says that a man's hard work is measured by his wife. Is this true? It's true. That's yeah. For Igbo men. Igbo men, like, they don't care if they ride them bicycle yeah, or wife, riding or cutter. The their wife have to stand out. The wife speaks the language. Yeah. The wife is the testimony of their hard work. So those side chicks, what they want to see is the wife. What does she look like? Mm -hmm. What kind of car does she drive? Mm -hmm. What does she do? <laughs> they will even dig to know the business yep. that you do. They will dig to know um, the extent of your education. That's right. They do that. And they start looking like you. They want to compete with you. Changing hairstyles, you know. <laughs> hairstyles, and lose you don't weight. Even know them. Mm -hmm. Lose weight. Shop from the same place that you shop mm -hmm. because to them they have a little bit of insecurity yes. or maybe a lot of insecurity. They want to look like you. The only thing they don't see is your underwear. That's right. If they ever see your underwear, they will get that. Too. They will get that as well. Mm -hmm. If you do liposuction, they want to do that. Yes. Even if you don't, they'll be tempted to do something to fix all the nip tags so mm -hmm. that some of them even try to come and take your position. They do. That's oh. why they're doing all that. So that at the end, the, the man will leave you for them. But I don't know how, how comfortable. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day. A girl was saying how her best friend broke another person's home by, uh, by infusing herself into a married man's uh, household. And now that side chick ended up being the madam of the house. I don't know. I don't know how um, some people. I mean, like some people, they they know the wife, and maybe an old friend or whatever, mm -hmm. and they go ahead and have an affair with the husband, and then they they go as far as wanting to take, you know, everything that everything, you know, to get it. You know, why why are women so bad? I don't know. They have a lot of cases like that in Nigeria. and say, oh, she used to be my friend. She used to be my best friend. I, do, I bring her to the house and now she's the wife. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know how the men do that. I don't know how, you know, the women, they feel so comfortable doing stuff like that. I don't, but I, don't I think that more blame, we should be blaming the men yes. more yes. than the women. Because at the end of the day, I still think that it's how my husband present me to that side chain mm -hmm. or to the people out there that the woman is going to take like respect me you know yeah. there are some men who so even though they have side chicks you know what i'll do anything for you but please but don't, don't play with yeah. my wife don't don't go there don't go there yeah. don't even talk about my wife well, don't even 
<laughs> not that it makes it any better. It doesn't make it any better. It doesn't better. make it any better. But mm -hmm. you know, you don't even know when all this is, you know, when you going are going on, you know, but it doesn't make it any better. I wish the men will stop, but you know, uh, no, but, but, yeah. on the other hand, men are not doing it alone. It's mm -hmm. because those women are chasing them too. The, yes, in Nigerian men, women chase men. Mm -hmm. And there is a viral video that is going on. No, I think it went on last year. Women are now proposing to men. Listen. Did you see that video? Yes, I saw it. Look, when I went to Nigeria, I think two, three years ago, and I went out with friends, uh -huh. and so we got talking, we were talking with some bunch of people and somebody said, um, he was talking about how this girl came onto him, you know, asking mm -hmm. him out and all, all that. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. A girl? Mm -hmm. And he turned around and asked me, have you not asked any man out in your life? You've never asked any man? I said, no. You might come. I might be old school. <laughs> I believe that the men need to chase me. Like They have to come, come for us. Come for us. Come for me. I'm not gonna go out there and say hello. How are you? Would you like to date me? It doesn't sound right. Let me tell you something. A uh, few years ago, I went out with my husband in Lagos. So when we were leaving, there was a card at the dashboard, at the wiper, like a business card. Mm -hmm. So my husband picked up the card. You know what that card says? Hi, call me. I am the the lady in yellow. When you were coming inside inside the, the same place. She was leaving. Yes. Oh my, my God. Husband so her desperate. So she, he, my husband picked up the card and he said, Really? I am the lady in yellow. When I was coming out, out when she was coming out, we were going in. This is how desperate, so desperate. Nigerian women, most Nigerian women. Yes, are. and that's why the men, you know, treat them like that. Yeah. Because they don't, they don't command respect to themselves. And they don't, no. I don't understand what self-value means no, to they, some they don't women. Have, they don't have the, oh my God. You go to the clubs, you see this, you don't, we need to meet in Lagos somewhere. <laughs> Listen, we need to hang out with, because we don't travel to together. Oh That's the thing. Goodness. That's the thing. Sometimes oh. when I go out at night, I get disgusted. I'm like, okay, that's why I, the men are like that. Yeah. yeah, I can't even begin to tell the story in front of this camera. What mm. happened? to us, me, my husband and his friend, hmm. in a club in VR. You see? A woman hung on the door where I was sitting. She was almost spitting at me. She told me to get out the car. Get out the car. That's, hey, get out the car. It's not your turn. She really hung on the door. The car was moving. Can you the, I, have to, I was trying to wind the glass, like pushing the button. She really held on the glass. My God! She said, "Get off the car! Get off the car! I need to sit in that spot." And Hello. these are beautiful ladies. Beautiful by the young way. women. Beautiful. beautiful young women. Beautiful ladies, by the way. I mean, like it's so sad. It is. But then you know, poverty again. I like I keep saying, I keep repeating it. It's all about mental poverty. That's they right. They are all poor mentally. Forget about the physical cash. Yeah. If you have. Morals for yourself and value. You for have yourself. to value yourself. Yeah, value yourself. Because Let me tell you. Sometimes you tell the men to go suck. Yes, get go the suck it. Yes. Yeah. Why? You are too handsome. Moving. You have to like go and do something for yourself. And it's, it's because many women depend so much on the men. You know in the Nigeria, men. Hey. You know in Nigeria that's the way it is. You know they call this to put money in their account because they don't want to. So they become. It becomes um. They belittle themselves for it, you know. Because uh, of money. Yes, because yes. of money. I, and I, men treat them anyhow. Yes, they no, when they're going, they say it's my money, money now. It's, I have money, so they can I can do anything, right? Mm -hmm. So women, you guys are the cause of why men are treating you the way they are treating you. Mm -hmm. If you stand up for yourself and know what you stand for and respect yourself and know your values and your worth, no man can come and shove it down your throat. Rather you be the one to shove it into your throat. You. <laughs> yeah, two ways. Shove with this hand here, shove with the other one from the behind. Screw them. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna leave you guys here. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button. The next video is going to be so awesome. So we're going to be diving into the next video. Bye, see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>